Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace, if you can find it. Um, I had mentioned on the prior video what to do to exfoliate your skin, to take care of your own skin, to exfoliate your face and your lips and your body and how to apply lotion. But still, the water is loaded. But there I go. But keep trying. Keep Keep swimming upstream with me. But I want to speak on um, shelters, how the shelter life is for the homeless and the mentally ill in this country and how they are uh, supplying um, those who they will not harm. But they surely did harm African black people when it came to them being knocked off in the streets by the, the cops but they're not doing that to these immigrants but they're complaining uh, about not having shelter now because now they just dump them in the city but I want to speak on how uh, the uh, debates I listen to it and I'm not into politics but this world is just this planet this one particular place where we are is just it's just so bizarre. So I want to know what's going on. And so now these news channel, uh, corporate news, get the green light to, that they can just diss Biden now. That's the way it's seen. They have to get permission because you know they cannot uh, speak on their own accord. Although they went to journalist school to be a free-thinking journalist, they cannot. They have to speak with their sponsors, tell them to. And so it's like they have turned against them. So it seems like this is all just a play, an act. This is what they're doing. This is a chess game. And that's why I say to us black folks, this has nothing to do with us. Us diddling and dallying in it is like them giving us a, a, something to fax or to hold this handkerchief or to put up front. What's that saying? Uh, Black faces in high places can't save us. They're not black anymore. So don't get excited about that because I keep saying we haven't had a black president yet. They would not allow a black-hearted president. And just this exterior don't mean anything. But they did not ask at the debate about anything of significance. nothing they didn't ask about the things that are troubling us and and the lies the straight up lies and they figured they could do that because this docile usa and, and, and mega people they allowing so much to happen because they waiting on a vote they waiting on a vote and this country has gone to pots major cities. Frank Sinatra would turn over in his grave as Sammy Davis Jr. Anybody that sung about New York at any given time is not like that anymore. New York is purposely they wanted to fall. This is not by accident but I don't get this um, how um, Russia is now some people say the word. Why well, I can't say it but they're docking their submarines around Cuba. And this happened before in the 60s. And they don't want to speak about how the only reason uh, Russia did it then is because USA had uh, their uh, nuclear weapons in Turkey somewhere. So that's why he did it. But it's just, don't these people know if they push the button, who's going to tell everybody to run for cover? All these movie stars and everybody and celebrities who have these... Um, bungalows under uh, underground who's gonna have time to get where they going and go get their children out of school to get into these uh underground bungalows where they say it, it looks like a million dollar home but also you got to come out and the water is contaminated the air is contaminated dead bodies everywhere how are you gonna live i'm trying to think this through do they have an end game a plan Apparently they do because they gung-ho pushing people to push the button. 
And that may be the only way to save life on this planet because no gods and no, no prayers and nobody is helping any life on this planet. They knocking people off. People are, 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 are leaving this earth in a hell's hideous way consistently all day long. No one want to speak on Sudan and Ethiopia and how they are getting down. Africans killing Africans. And I'm going to end with this. Uh, Philip Scott uh, channel, he was speaking how uh, Africans are not pan-Africanism. They too tribal over there. And that's right. That's why Africans are leaving. <coughs> Excuse me. Africa because they're not pan-Africanism. They will annihilate one another if a Nigerian go to South Africa and set up a, a fruit stand. He can't stay there. That's why they dying in the oceans getting to Europe where they're going to be mistreated utterly. But they're not thinking about pan-Africanism. They tribal. So he was saying, so why not um, In other nationalities, they have separate, like all Asians are not Japanese and Chinese and Vietnam. They they separate. You can't call a Chinese a, a Japanese. They get angry, but they all Asian. He says, so why can't Africans uh, be the same way? And that means with this FBA and ADOS and Native American and I'm black and I'm Negro and I'm just a black face, we're all separate. So we have separate tribes too because we'll never be united. And that's just like a trick bag. Like I was talking about that Second Chronicles 7.15. You can't do all of it at the same time. We will never all become pan-Africanism. It's impossible. It's a dream. It's another myth and another religion, even though that's all that I have to hold on to. But I don't know what to say about that. Because it is right when you get to think about it. We, we're not, we, how can we be pan Africanism when Africans are leaving Africa? They don't believe in it. That's just us out here in other countries talking about it. They're not into it. But they trying to get together with the money and breaking down those borders and being able to fly across uh, each country without needing the passport. So they working on it. So I'm going to end with that. Thanks for tuning in and listening to the channel. Peace if you can find it. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe.